everybody. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. And if you want any merch, go to Sunday. What? No, you have to finish it now. Go. No, I guess you gotta finish it. Fine. Go to what is this? What's the name? Sunday Cool. <laughs> Sunday Cool Swag. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. Go to SundayCoolSwag.com for merch. Now look at that. <laughs> now watch. I it. nailed it and she ruined it. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> you had one good thing. One time. time. Hey guys, thanks for um, watching uh, this ad. Listen, hey, we want to let you know that it's our busy season, okay? We know that it's our busy season because it's your busy season. It's summer. Kids are out of school. You guys are going to camps, mission trips, all those types of things. But guess what? You need t shirts, you need hats, you need stickers. And where else can you get customizable templates than sundaycool.com? There's nothing better. Look up here. Look at me. Make eye contact. Thank you. Listen, if you go to sundaycool.com, we have hundreds of customizable templates for you, for your group, for your organization. There's nothing better than this, all right? We offer 72 hour turnaround after art approval. We get it to you fast. It's going to be nice. It's going to be soft. It's going to be remarkable. Won't it be? Yes. So what are you waiting for? Go to sundaycool.com. Start your order today. We love you. Yes. Listen, the podcast is always rolling, baby. Yeah, that's why we were trying to talk. I know, but I wanted to be part of the conversation because you were talking yell. about a movie that we watched. Tell us about night. it. Farming. Sounds boring. Well, it's not. What is it on? It's on We Rented It. Oh, cool. Um, so it's a newer one? No. Yeah. It was, I've never heard of it. It was like from 2019. Really? It had Kate Beckinsale in it. Yeah, but it's about... Stale? What do you say? It's, her name is Beckinsale. Not it's got a You D. said stale. It, no, Beckinsdale. Beckinsdale? Dale? I don't know. About I, don't, I think he's got a The way you sound it was just sound like stale bread. <laughs> Anyways, I, it, t- it took place in the 80s, yeah. I think. Um, but it's about a a boy from Nigeria. It was All like right. during this time. He was right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called farming because at this time, there's a lot of uh, refugees coming over from all over the place, all over the world to the UK. Yeah. It took place in London, right? Or yep. somewhere in UK. But um, called it farming because the government would subsidize families for ha- like bringing in kids and stuff. Okay. But then a lot of people would like way overdo it and just yeah. collect money and like neglect the kids. Smart. I so, mean. <laughs> so it's about a kid from Nigeria who was like neglected and like goes through a self-identity crisis. Long story short, he joins a skinhead gang and oh. he's African-American. Okay. Or not, I guess he's not African-American because he's from the UK. But yeah. He's Nigerian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, he joins it and it's wild. Yeah. But it's based on a true story. Nice. Yeah. I'll watch it. It's very intense. That's cool. That's uh reminds me yeah. of like a movie that you should have heard of, but like you ne- can't believe you never did. Kind of like yeah. that movie Sunshine with uh, Killian Murphy. I've not the, seen the, it. That, the one I told you about that astronauts when they're going literally, they're going to blow oh, yeah, up yeah, the yeah, sun. Yeah. 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 It's like, this is a huge movie from 2010. Yeah. No one's ever talked about it. And it's a really good one. I love Killian Murphy. I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. I love Killian Murphy. I love that man. Wait, he is in it? Oh, he is in it. He's in it. He's in it wait, are then, you sure? Yeah. I thought you we said that, and then you looked at me, he's like, oh, wait, no, he's not in it. No, uh, I'll look it up, but it's, yeah, yeah, it's. I'm pretty sure it's Killian Murphy, but there's a couple people in it where you're just like, what in the world? How have I never heard of this movie? Hey, everybody clap, because we oh, did yeah. do that. One, two, hey, let's actually better One, do it at two, different three. times. Oh. Oh, where's the card? Yeah. Yeah, Killian Murphy was in it. Killian oh. Murphy, um, Chris Evans, too. You always hand it to me Yuck. first, but you can do it first. I don't like Chris Evans. Sorry. I should open the door for myself first and then other people first, right? I already did it. I know. We need it. I put it over here. Oh, they need it. Hey, hey, hey. What hey. is your mood today? I don't Quit know. trying to control me. <laughs> Sorry. Don't even. Don't even. You're the one today saying you hate everybody. Michelle Yeoh's in it, too, from Everything Everywhere. I didn't know that um, you were trying to hand it to me. I didn't know if you are holding it in front of the camera. Ah, you're good. Is that why there was that weird pause? Yeah. <laughs> you, you put your hand up. So I was like, 
Okay. Why is it okay. every time we start the podcast, it gets hot in here? It's so hot. Because we shut Maybe the door. Nervous. Maybe I Maybe am just kind of nervous. nervous. Are you nervous? Remember those cool jeans I was wearing this morning? Yeah. I had to change because they were squeezing my eyeballs out. They were so tight. <laughs> They're so tight. Don't I look good in this? <laughs> I have hills. Oh god. <clears throat> <laughs> you are probably pretty nervous because you have that big announcement to tell people. What? The, oh. the big announcement that we've been talking about all week, months. Yeah. Do we save it for the end? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, save yeah, yeah, we'll save it for the end. We'll save it for the end. Yeah. What are you talking about? You'll it's see. a big one. You should know. You know. You know. I don't. I don't. Well, we'll talk about it at the end. <laughs> um, what? These songs mm -hmm. are both really fun to make and the bane of my existence. <laughs> yeah. Because again. What do you hate about it? What do you not enjoy as much about it, I guess? Um, proper. I just feel like we have to top every. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> but we're having fun doing it. We are having fun. We just need to get better at doing, doing it beforehand. Be beforehand. Like we could, we could batch a lot of these songs and don't, we don't have to. Because. <laughs> we don't have to wait an hour before this yeah. <laughs> podcast. So do you want, I mean, do you want a song? We didn't, I don't know if we. Yeah, we could uh, dabble in me. something. We put, we put a little ditty together. What are you thinking? Um, I mean, uh, I don't know, maybe blues or something. Interesting. <laughs> blues. Yeah, I like blues, don't you? Andrew, do you know how to play the blues? It's been a while. It's been a while. All right. All right. Oh. 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 What yeah. are these? Are what are these on my face? Inside? I instantly think you're cooler. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see what... Um... Andy, I think you should join him. Oh yeah, sure. Do you do you have? Oh, oh maybe there we oh. go. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Whoa, whoa, hey. whoa, whoa! Couple, two guys, pretty cool in a booth. How's that sound? <laughs> Ooh! All right, here we go. Making Ready? me feel sad already. <laughs> to the soul so yeah that's that that's a little blues <laughs> so a little blues yeah. for your um <laughs> for your enjoyment yeah. great job hey, thanks Lo. yeah thank you yeah um it sounded better when we practice it you think yeah i think so i thought it sounded great I you're not sound very uh convincing i thought it sounded really great we worked really hard on it <laughs> it's really, really hard really fishing for compliments over here i don't yeah. know i don't think it was that good <laughs> um yeah, the blues. The blues, baby. We're also running out of genres. <laughs> no. There's, we got a fun of. one planned for next week. Yeah, that's really? Good. We really so we are ahead of this one. <laughs> next say, week, we're not. I'm not going to spoil anything. Yeah, I was. I'm these past few weeks, we've been pull that off, but yeah, these past few weeks have been AI free too. So yeah. we haven't yeah. we haven't been doing any AI, which is fun. You need to do like a musical, like Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'll that's in the, the start start in a sentence and start leading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
going. Just cuts yeah. to me and there's a full grand piano over here. <laughs> <laughs> you dressed up as the Phantom. Yeah. Um, okay, everyone be quiet. Okay. For real. Sorry. Um, Sorry. We do have a question today that was sent in by a viewer. Okay. Um, I wrote it. Oh, here it is. I wrote it down. <clears throat> Today's question sent in by a viewer. Mm. Are farmers ruining this country? That's that's it. Uh, uh, are no. are farmers ruining this country? Golly, no. I know a lot of farmers. I don't think they're ruining the country at all. Okay. Yeah, no, I can't speak all for all of them, but yeah, absolutely not. No, yeah. they're not ruining this country. What about you? What do you think? No, I, I mean, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. My grandpa was a farmer. Yeah. And he, I mean, they, I've, as far as I'm concerned, they built this country. He did ruin like a popka. Yeah. But that's a whole story. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, <laughs> what do you think? No, I don't. Th- I don't think they're ruining anything. Interesting. Okay. They're not ruining anything at all. Final answer? Yes. Oh, wait. Okay. There's more to the question. Sorry. Oh. Are farmers ruining this country by growing drugs? <gasps> oh. And Lily, can we go scoot back for a second? What, what did you say? What was your answer? You said that they're Wait not. What was, you, what was your answer? You said no? You said no, farmers aren't ruining this country by growing drugs. Is Lily condoning <laughs> drug use? Wow. Lily is okay with farmers growing drugs and she doesn't care about this country? What? Welcome to the show. Lily. Oh my God. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! I said empty your mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja the A bit, of, a bit of a stretch, but we're going to go there. <laughs> Speaking of your grandpa in Lake Apopka, um, before I ever even knew you were started at Sunday Cool, I took an environmental studies class, and we talked about your grandpa's farm in it. Didn't we talk about this in the podcast or no? Oh, I don't mm. know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, so my grandpa and his brothers had farms all around Lake Apopka. Yeah. And long you know, time ago. Long time ago, like the 60s. The and old like, days. Um, but now Lake Apopka is known as being one of the most polluted lakes ah. in central Florida. Woo. We're number one. We're number one. It's because he's, uh, um, dump fertilizer, dump for like the <laughs> drain off from their farm. Fish but, love oil. <laughs> so yeah, Lily learned about them in college. That's awesome. It's not wow. like they knew what they were doing. No. Right then, and there's no, there's no in actual college. Yeah. I learned about it wasn't it like high school, like right down the road. Like this was like, this is a big news then. It is a local college, but wow. yeah, but I, uh, I did learn about them. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. That's great. Shame on your grandpa. No, <laughs> no poor Hoopa. Hey. Whoa, whoa. I didn't mean, I'm uh, sorry. I Hoopa. I was, Hoopa. Hoopa. I love Hoopa. Hoopa. Um, how's everyone doing? Hey, good. good. It's episode 40, baby. Our ba- our podcast baby is now finally here. It's been born. There's your, um. I want a bite of that. Dolce leche. <clears throat> a churro. Uh, and here's my churro that Lily left on the floor for about five minutes. So it, is, it has rug on it. Do we get maternity leave for this pregnancy? Ooh. We do. Mm, yeah. You're right. Full gestation. You yep. get two days off this weekend. Oh, no way. Saturday and Sunday? Mm-hmm. I was one of one. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. I was one of one. Wow. Oh. Although well, people love the ASMR of churro eating. <laughs> We're here. I think you left off. Terrible. Good crunch. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so everyone's doing good. Everyone's doing great. Phenomenal. Yeah. What a great week. What a great weekend. A lot of things happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Florida's finally hit hurricane season. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. We got, we got rain every day. Rain every it's day. Perfect. We love it. Dude, I'm scared of this hurricane season. <laughs> we're cruising in Yeah, it's the first time you're going on a cruise. That's when it's really going to Oh, happen. yeah, we're going on a cruise in September. I got, yeah. good, I got good news for you. We're heading into a super El Nino, which means that the Arctic shear is going to come down and keep hurricanes from coming, but the jet stream will bring warm air. So a lot of rain, not a lot of storms. But what cost, Josh? The world's dying. The world's dying. At least won't be from a hurricane. The polar bears are losing their ice. (laughs) I think the polar bears are up to it. I'm laughing at you and eating a churro. <laughs> it's like you're in pain. <laughs> Have you ever seen her laugh and eat a churro? That's actually what people say it looks like. It looks like you're in pain. Have you ever laughed eating a churro? I think the polar bears are behind the ice caps, 
Honestly. Oh. I think they're starting fires. I think they're trying to cast blame just so they can get to our land and eat us. <laughs> our land. <laughs> oh, save and the polar bears. Yeah, bring us onto your land and help us. <laughs> <laughs> We promise we'll be nice. Please. <laughs> I promise. What do you, what do you, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Speaking of animals trying to kill us, oh, I yeah. saw a video this morning of shamus. Like, shamus. Shamus. shamus or- <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video today of orcas, yeah, yeah. not shamus. <laughs> uh, I saw a video today of orcas. They're, they're capsizing boats, dude. Yeah. What? On purpose. They're training. There's videos of mothers training their kids how to capsize and turn over boats. Wow. Now, there's no historical evidence ever uh, in the wild of a um, killer whale hurting a human being in the wild. It's never been recorded. But they are terrifying hunters. Have you seen like how they get like yeah, the seals yeah, and stuff? Yeah. With the, they flap their yeah. tails. They're doing that to boats now. What are they doing after they flip it? I, I they're not killing the people, but it's just they're just flipping boats for fun. They probably wow. watch Blackfish. Did, did you did you watch? <laughs> yeah, like wait a minute. You like, see that wait, movie? <laughs> wait a second. I think this place why, about why us. Why aren't we killing them? <laughs> no, did did you watch? There's another video where a guy's talking about why they're doing it, and they figured it out. There was a boat that was harassing. It's oh. a particular orca. Oh wow! And yeah. So, so now they're just doing like, it. It's like oh, you're gonna mess with me, and it's literally teaching others. <gasps> oh. So smart, dude. Yep. They're so, so smart. It's, it's like just, those lines in Africa that like started like actually like hunting people down oh not eating them like literally just hunting them down whole it's village like, it's like Will Ferrell's line about um, tunas now have a, a taste <laughs> for people now you we know, have breathing ta- apparatus. We've, we've talked we discussed we like the taste of lion <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the best rants in yeah. movie history I think. yeah such an underrated movie I'll tell you something about intelligent animals Josh and I watched that um, octopus is my friend documentary what is octopus it octopus teacher yeah did you cry? Okay, the whole time Josh and I are like, is he gonna kiss that octopus? <laughs> <laughs> is he into that octopus? That's what it seemed like. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty intimate, pretty intimate it relationship with that octopus. <laughs> but isn't it like sad? Because like, like, yeah. uh, spoiler alert! If you if you really want to watch it, it's very sad, but it's very it's very telling just how smart animals are. But yeah. also like toward the end, it's like just you're just recording the death of this yeah. your best friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 for real. Intervene. Yeah, do something. Do something, but that would be against his nature. That's I true. just think, how much money did he have to fund a full year of diving in one area every single day? Yeah, yeah. that's nuts. That's nuts. What kind of job do you have to like? Is he re- like he retired yeah. at that point? What kind of qualifications do you have to have to say, "Oh, I'm doing this in research"? What kind, what kind of money do you have to have to have a relationship with an octopus? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just a grant. Uh, you, oh. I don't think he was granted before. No, I think. He, was, really? he, was, he was taking a creative break. Like he was burnt out from his job because he was like a producer. Or he was like a, yeah, a producer and editor and something for whatever. So he, he made his money. He was just spending it. How rich is that guy? Well, he's befriended an octopus. That kind of rich. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, 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 I've never met anybody like that. That's <laughs> Bill Gates rich. Bill Gates doesn't even uh, scuba dive. That was. Um, oh. Do you remember that uh, octopus that used to like pick the winner of the World Cup? Oh what? yeah, like he yeah. was like he was like undefeated for the longest time for like 30, 40 years or something like that. Yeah. Like he's he would they would have all the soccer balls with the mascots on it, and they would just pick it, and he would it would win every single what? time. It's crazy. <laughs> he's like an oracle. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what have we talked? What's the plural of octopus? Is it octopi? I thought it was octopi. Didn't but... we talk about this? Yeah, I feel like we did. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it is. I think it is o- octopuses instead of octopi. <laughs> octopuses. So, yeah, I think we looked it up. Um, but they freak me out. Yeah, same. They're like, very strange. Like how they can camouflage to anything. Yeah. yeah and like even change. change the texture, texture. of their skin. Yeah. I saw one clip and it's like the camouflage on this octopus is insane. And it's this tiny little octopus changing colors as it's going. And you're focused on it and you're crazy. And it gets down toward the sand. You think it's going to change into this rock. And then suddenly a larger octopus <gasps> comes out of the sand and <laughs> eats this one. Eats you, it. You're paying attention to the wrong one the whole time because you didn't even see it at that time. Wow. So Absolutely not. Have you seen how they can like squeeze through anything too? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Like the they're boat, on a the boat crack boats. and there's like just like a little hole and there's dude, like, yeah. They're fascinating. And the mothers apparently, they will literally starve taking care of their children. And, they well, will they not yeah, that abandon. Was in, that was in that yeah, show. Yeah, or they that, they yeah. will not abandon, and which is just... It's crazy. Cool. It's crazy, man. They die wacky, wacky. after childbirth every time. Speaking of dying. Don't we all? Eventually. Sometimes I feel like it. <laughs> we do, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, do, uh, speaking of dying, what do you guys think was the worst year ever in history? Oh. Because there is a year. <laughs> oh, man. Um, 
What year did the Lord of the Rings come out? Um, <laughs> Let me just cut to the chase. <laughs> yeah. So can I guess? What year? Sure. 1939. Okay. Was it in the 1900s? No. Nope. 20th century? <laughs> nope. Way before then. Guaranteed you probably haven't heard about this. Okay. Maybe you have because I I think I've brought it up before, not on this podcast. Tell us, what's the worst year in human history? The worst year in human history was the year 536 AD. Oh. Okay. It's the worst time to wake up, too. Do you know what happened? <laughs> what happened? 536 AD. When was that? What was happening at that time? So, um, not a lot. You know, okay. uh, the Roman Empire was kind of breaking apart a little bit here and there. Okay. Everything's whatever. Um, but there was a volcano that erupted in Iceland that ended up making the sky dark. Okay. Pretty much around the entire world or the recorded world, which would be like Europe, Asia, Africa, yeah. and so on. Dark for an entire year from this cloud. Of how big an entire this, year? An entire year. Like to where all these different nations recorded that year of like the sun gave off light like the moon. Oh my gosh. Like it gave off no warmth and the global temperature dropped 15 degrees. Oh my gosh. Within that year. And so there was mass famine. Yeah. yeah. Um, it so, was, yeah, no, nothing's growing yeah, at that point. It was like recorded in China that it was snowing during the summer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it, it was, sounds like it, you're just describing Portland at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, no, but it was, it, they called it like the year of darkness. Golly. And like, but what that did was with the famine and all that stuff, all these animals, mainly rats, uh -huh. oh, would forced. come in. Because it was so cold outside, oh, no. they would come into homes, oh, no. which can that ended up leading to the bubonic plague. No <gasps> way, because they, yeah, yeah, they carried it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's, it was like the first recorded plague was from Golly. the result of this volcano going off in Iceland. Nightmare. They they were they're assuming Iceland. Yeah. They said it could have been Iceland. Someone said it was possibly one in El Salvador. Wow. So or we don't know the name of the volcano. No. Okay. Or it could have been a meteor. Oh, true that. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. That has nothing to do with the dark ages, right? No. Okay. It was, got it. Yeah, before. Okay. That. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Or maybe it was in the middle. You I know, don't know. Do you remember yeah. that TikTok where the guy goes, uh oh, maybe the depression wasn't just seasonal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet that's what everybody was feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but a couple you weeks imagine, go like, by, no sun. You're like, yeah. hmm. Mm, okay. Like, if you think sad. of like, like, oh, we're living in the end times, they probably thought. <laughs> Seriously. Dude, it's over. There's so many things like that. Like they, that, yeah. that happened. You're like, this is it. This cannot get any worse. That would be terrible for a full yeah. year. We Golly. thought 2020 was bad. Imagine not seeing the sun for a year. Yeah, and, also, and not knowing what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, we would have an answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something would be clear. It would suck. But yeah, at least we would know what's going on. Yeah. The yeah. unknown, which I don't know when's that, when's the last time we've experienced that. Like something so crazy, like, uh, like natural disaster wise that yeah. we can't explain. Yeah. yeah, that would yeah, that would be terrifying. Be, I can't imagine living that. Be consulting an octopus. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> help us, please. <laughs> help us. So yeah, worst year in history. Yay! Yay. Yet, so Yet. far, so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> um, let's let's try to break the record next year, guys. Come on, yeah. let's start making plans. Twenty twenty four is gonna be lit. I have <laughs> or unlit this conspiracy oh, that I've been researching for the past forty eight hours. <laughs> Because I came across it on TikTok. I saved the video. Okay. The video got deleted. All right. And then I saved another one. That got deleted. And now you're on a list. Mm. And I've been, when I first saw it, I'm like, what? I'm like, this is dumb. Yeah. Like, this uh, This is so silly. Um, Have you heard of the theory that uh, the Trumps are time travelers? <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Yeah. They are not sophisticated enough. <laughs> Listen to this. But they're time travelers? Yeah. yeah. Which one specifically? Um, Donnie? It's hard to say. Donnie? No, it would be Barron. <laughs> Who's Barron? Trump's son. Or Donald Trump himself. Listen. Grab me a DeLorean. Okay. <laughs> That's good. So this connects to guess who? Nikola Tesla. No way. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is, and when I first saw it, I'm like... What? I'm like, that's made up. Dude, yeah. I found like five different sources. No. No, no, listen. No, I'm not talking about the time travel thing. I'm talking about the beginning of the conspiracy yeah. theory. Yeah. Okay. Nikola Tesla died in the New York hotel or something, right? Mm -hmm. 
And within his hotel that he was living in, he had, it was, somebody said that he had 80 plus trunks of all his patents, his designs for different technologies, all this stuff. And the government took it, right? Yes. But. I thought his house caught on fire. Huh? Didn't his house catch on fire? No. Oh. (laughs) Talking about. I guess I don't know. (laughs) So the National uh, Defense Research Facility and the FBI Uh were going to go in and take it. Guess who they sent first to go and collect the stuff? Donald Trump. (laughs) No. (laughs) The president of the United States. I don't know. John G. Trump, Donald Trump's uncle. What? (laughs) Weird. Donald Trump's uncle. What was his title? What was he doing? He was a highly respected electrical engineer and physicist. Oh. Okay, so he fits, I guess, a little bit in the realm of Tesla. They sent him to collect the stuff. Yeah. And he got there, and he came back, and he said, oh, you guys said there's 80 trunks. I only found 30, um, and nothing was really of any value. So the theory is that he took some of these trunks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Slipped it in his pocket. And did some stuff. Saved it for a rainy day. Said, I'm going to just... But there's one piece the FBI reported, because they just disclosed this stuff about Nikola Tesla in his documents not that long ago. And one of the documents said... um, Oh, where did it say? Uh, The FBI noted saying, wireless transmission, electrical power had been completed and perfected. And so they had in their hands the ability to create uh, wireless transmission electricity, but we've never done anything with it. Mm -hmm. But that was collected. But there's that whole, like Tesla had been working on this stuff of like, he said that he had figured out how to bend time. Yeah. And so- As one does. The theory (laughs) is Donald Trump's uncle uncle took this, created a time machine. Oh my gosh. And travel back in time and like did all this stuff. But then the weird connection is there was a book that came out in 1896 and it's called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. What? Written in 1896. 1896. That's okay. So someone else named Baron Trump or you're saying do you know it what, was do actually you, Baron do, Trump. Do you know what the book was about? <laughs> what? Time travel? Baron Trump time traveling. Ah! No! How disappointing would this be if that... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So the theory is that Baron Trump, Donald Trump's son, is a time traveler, and it's not Donald Trump. It could be Donald Trump. This is where I, it's really It's chaos at this me. point. It's just connections of names and stuff that was stolen and like the fact Possibility. that... The fact that the Trumps are connected to Nikola Tesla in a way... Yeah. And that this book in 1896 was written about Baron Trump, who was a time traveler. Um, this the man who wrote, wrote it. His name is Ingersoll Lockwood. That same Lord year, Lockwood. <gasps> I don't know who that Sherlock is. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock oh. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> that same year well, that he released the book about Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey, he released another book called The Last President. Oh. And it takes place primarily in New York City. Okay. And it's about this whole social, like the, basically the, the country elects a president and it's, he's ushering in socialism and communism. Yeah. And it's like this whole, and I actually started listening to the book yesterday. Didn't understand anything. <laughs> because it's all like, <laughs> yeah. you see, the, the people are taking over. <laughs> it's a marvelous transaction of whatever. I'm yeah. just like, I'm that so was the lost. time we'll be. Um, but yeah, so and but in that book, there's like weird stuff, like some man that worked for the White House, his last name was Pence. Oh my god! Like, oh my goodness! There's just <laughs> references, like all this weird little yeah. weird stuff. How mad would you be if you found out this was true and everyone, all these rich people are time traveling without us? Yeah, like just give me a subscription. I'll do it once a month or something. Yes. Don't hold it all for yourself. Dude. Where would you go? Oh man, that's a tough one. I would, I would, I would have fun going. I would have to learn about all the places that I've never been to. I don't know anything about, like Rome. With time travel? Yeah, I would just oh, go back yeah. to like old Rome and just like Im- I would immediately be killed. Yeah, <laughs> I'd probably have like my phone in my pocket, and they're like, "What is that?" Yeah. <laughs> what year? I don't know what year I go back to, but I just want to get finish it off with this. Just how weird this author is. Yeah. Um, one of his last books that he like came out with. He had been writing books for like thirty something years. And like he was like a lawyer, just a wacky dude. Yeah. He came out with a book called Book 
uh, laconics of cult. Oh. And it was all about, it had poems and it almost seemed like a step-by-step guide to reaching immortality. Oh. And the like, same, by the same Baron Trump? By the author who wrote Baron Trump oh. and the last president. And then his last book was about okay. this whole like. Okay. Achieving Weird. immortality and like. When did this guy die? Um, I didn't write it down. It was, it was record did early. He did he? It was yeah. probably like in the 1930s or something. Yeah. Eventually, he had to so fake weird. his death or something. But so gonna be on I it. just thought that was weird and hilarious. The, there's and a, there's <laughs> enough real connections where it makes you like it makes it the perfect conspiracy because it's not just you just said the word and you're like oh yeah maybe like there's yeah. things that like out there that are like oh, possibly someone could run with and really well what's oh, weird goodness. is I was watching this like short documentary about they're like trying to track down um, Tesla's like work and paperwork and all that stuff. And there's a museum in uh, Serbia where uh, Nikola Tesla is from. And uh, it's the Nikola Tesla Museum in Serbia. And these guys went there and they had planned it all out there talking to the curator of the museum. And he's like, can we see some of his documents and stuff? He's like, yeah, come down to the vault or whatever. Yeah. And there, he was showing them a piece of paper where Nikola Tesla was basically had a contract with the Soviet Soviet Russians okay. to um, make that death ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'll it was supposedly signed. And the guy's like, can I actually flip to see his signature? And the guy's like, no. And he's like, uh, and they're all like taken back. Like, why, why can't we see? And he's like, you can't see it. You, you're not allowed to see it. And it's like, why? Yeah. Okay. And like, can we look at like other documents? And he's like, no, you're not allowed. Get out. Weird. <laughs> And it was just like, but there's just like so much mystery surrounding yeah, it's weird. Tesla and like yeah. the things that he invented. But yeah, so Trump is, he is um, Marty I'm, McFly. I'm just imagining him as Doc Brown. And so it's just, <laughs> instead of Doc, that he just calls him Don. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go back to the 80s. Oh, Fix your oh yeah. I forgot to mention this. Baron Trump um, in the book, his mentor, his name was Don. Oh, no. Don was telling him what to do to time travel. What in the world does all this mean? Is and there's one big coincidence. But there's like, th- this is a stretch, but there's like a drawing of Baron Trump in the book. Yeah. And it looks like Baron <laughs> Trump. Oh my gosh. What if, what if like, uh, what if Baron Trump is like really Donald Trump's like great, great, great grandpa or something? Yeah. He like traveled back or traveled forward. And he consults him all the time. He's yeah. Like, he's like, grandpappy. <laughs> How should I address Great grandpappy. <laughs> what do I do? Me. Please help me. <laughs> grandpappy Baron. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got with that's the a Nikola Tesla one. time traveling Trumps. Fun. That's amazing. But yeah, so Trump doesn't seem like the person that would be time travel, but maybe no. he's putting out, putting no. up a front. Yeah. Or maybe like that much time in the world makes you just, makes your your filter go away. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You lose your hair, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that for a second. He has the worst head of hair in the world. Have you seen him mess, Jimmy Fallon mess it up? It's very thin. It's, it's very thin. Yeah. Of all the things in the world, you're the rich, one of the richest men in the world. Yeah. Go get a hair like transplant or something. I Divert really. some of your spray tan fun <laughs> to your what hair. If he, that's not a spray tan, but that's a side effect of time travel. Whoa! <laughs> that you're, turns you're your hitting, best conspiracy you're hitting on some you've good, ever had. You're hitting on some it good turns marks your skin today. orange and your hair thin. <laughs> good be. But he doesn't, he doesn't care to fix it because like in the future, that's the style. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Because everyone's time traveling. We're all, we're putting a lot of pieces together. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We need to keep building onto this to where it's ridiculously to not deny it. <laughs> hey, you guys, should we talk more about the Trumps uh, being time travelers? If so, comment below and say, yes, <laughs> please talk more about this. But that's all the information I got now. Yeah. Because I've only been looking at it for like a day. Yeah. Fun. So. You get an A plus. Thanks. That's, that's so such fun. a fun conspiracy. It yeah. Is. I love good time traveling stories. Yeah. Time traveling. Time traveling. But speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's, not, it's fine. Speaking of time traveling, <laughs> orange people. <laughs> we got an ad. Don't go anywhere. This just in. Hey, what? Sundaycool.com, the place to get all your custom tees. 
We kind of did this bit already. It's just the breaking news. Oh, wow. It's breaking. <laughs> wow. What? Hey, listen, guys. We're in the middle of our busy season. The you know busiest what? of seasons. Yeah, why, but why are we in our busy season, Josh? Because there's camps. Yes. There's VBS. Yes. People just want shirts at this time of year. Absolutely. We're in our busy season because you're currently in your busy season. Whoa. So, listen, <laughs> we want to serve you the best possible way. We, we want to get you your shirts as fast as you possibly can get them. Yeah. And we can do that by going to sundaycool.com, looking at all of our summer templates, um, our uh, summer camp templates, yep. our VBS templates, our mission trip templates, yep. all of these things for your companies, your organizations, your we church. Do, we do custom custom designs too. We absolutely do. We it's have the best. We have custom templates that you can turn on your own stuff. You can throw, give us your own logo. Yeah. And we can make magic with it. We or got, you can come with nothing. We got a whole art team that's just going to dedicate to getting what you want on a shirt. There's, and then a whole production team that's going to put that thing on the shirt. Listen, there's an artist right now sitting down. And if you don't call right now and order, we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to throw them out on the street because you did an order. Yeah. Get done. Sundaycool.com. Wow. We nailed it. We're on set today. Andrew's got a reel. Andrew's got a reel. Andrew's got a reel. I wonder, wonder what, what it is. is. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> this hey, guy. Because that be the new, the new <laughs> segment. Andrew's has to show us one video. <laughs> that could be a segment. <laughs> All right. So, this guy, I... I don't know how to react to this like situation he finds himself in. I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to show all of you. I'll show them and then I'll show you. Okay. And I want to know what you would do in the situation he okay. finds himself in. I love this. Okay. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no. Oh no. Why? Dude, I would panic is what I would do. Oh, panic. Oh, what is that? What is that? No. It's a bee. Ah! That's terrible. Yeah. I would legitimately panic. I would have closed my nose and blown out. We of can show that. Dude. That's yeah. so that's a oh. that's a carpenter bee. If you've never had them in your house, they burrow oh. into wood and <gasps> they won't back out. Like you can't get them out. You have to take like a spray. And like agitate them to get them to come out of there. That is one of my worst fears ever. <laughs> I would just instantly rush to the hospital. Have you well, seen like, the? Dude, you'd seen feel the... it because they 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 have teeth oh. that are strong enough to burn like Bro. cut through wood. Ah! So it's digging into your like sinuses. What do you do? I'd probably you just, just panic hose? and start punching my face. <laughs> probably just get a hose. I mean, I yeah, want you, at first part. Yeah, you just gotta but, but blow you, as hard as you possibly can. But do you think you'd be like sane enough? To start thinking of logical like steps forward. No, because no. you'd be no, panicking. No, 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 no. It would, I'd be screaming. It would be getting worse and worse and yeah, worse. It's yeah. not like you could run. You'd think like, okay, needle nose pliers or something, but it's like, dude, yeah, nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare. I've seen those videos of those uh, when they go to the ER and they show a camera in their ear oh. and it's literally just the head of a moth looking at you. Ah! And they've got a full moth in their ear, ah! bro. Oh I'm God. so scared that I've that's see, happening I've to me. I've seen one where they did that the, with the water thing where there's... Like oh, oh, yeah. the person felt something in their ear. Mm. They're doing it, a spider freaking crawls oh. out of their ear. Dude, mm. seriously, put me down. <laughs> if that Kill me. <laughs> Even me when out it's back. out, I can't deal with the trauma Dude, of it. I don't, yeah, I would. Oh my gosh. Oh you, my gosh. you would have to sleep with like earplugs for the rest of your life. Ah! You know, like, dude, oh man. Dude, so you mentioned like sinuses and stuff, how it's burrowing in your sinuses. I think in the past two years, I've learned that your nose hole doesn't connect straight to your brain. Okay, yeah. It does, though. What? Does it? Well, that's how the Egyptians, for the mummies, didn't they like pull their brains out through their nose? Oh, I don't know. I just know I it think connects that's to what our they throat. Did. But do we have any um, olfactory doctors listening? Maybe what, we wait, old, old factory? We need olfactory. What is that? Like, <laughs> like all. What? What's the question? I again? didn't know that was a word. Olfactory. Olfactory. What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about? It's your nose. The signs <laughs> of the nose, isn't it? I don't. Think, I don't know. I have no idea. Are you making up a word? I can't tell if you're making no, up. No, it's word. real. Olfactory. Yeah. The olfactory system. I just know they have. How ear do you know that <laughs> stuff? <laughs> no one knows. Lou is one of the smartest people for like no reason. I mean, like, <laughs> there's like about things that I've not. And I was like, how do you know that? The olfactory. <laughs> oh, you know the olfactory. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying old factory? No, old factory. Oh my Sounds God. the same. <laughs> we need that. Honestly, would be so much fun if one of the people that watch this podcast is a fan is a doctor or old factory, doctor. old factory doctor. 
uh, we should we should have like a Zoom call or something, and we, so we can ask, ask any, any questions, questions we questions. want. That would be... We need them to say in the beginning, no questions, dumb. Yeah, please. To yeah. encourage please. the true questions. But we might get them fired if we have too many questions. <laughs> no, that, that, that's, that'd be great. That is, seriously, let us know in the comments or hit us up on Instagram. That'd be so much fun. Now yeah. that we're addressing the fans, one more thing. If we have any fans in the Washington area, Washington State, um, send me and my sister in law to the Twilight Festival in August. Ford? Oh, in August? <laughs> That'd be cool. That well, would be, I want to go! What kind of festival? What is? What do they do at the festival? It's like a, a Twilight Cinema Festival. I don't know. Really? But I want to be there. Play baseball. I, there's probably some really cool people there. I know. Probably a lot of people <laughs> like just me. like pale, just walking around. <laughs> just glitter on their skin. This is what I am in the light. <laughs> And then me and jorts and my hair down. Yeah, yeah. My, my favorite take from the whole movie is when he like acts like he's about to throw up because he smells her. Like, or yeah. like, he like, <laughs> <laughs> like, stop, dude. It's so bad. But um, we honestly, a dream guest on this podcast, Taylor Lautner. For yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Episode four, I think, is when he reached out to us for the very first time. And I think yeah. that would be an incredible. So, guys. Guys, if you have go, any connections. Go blow up Taylor Lautner's Instagram and yeah. tag ninjas and tell them. Go on ninjas or butterflies because we he comes to Florida every once in a while. So we oh. got yeah. Last time you I know seen a him. lot of yeah, his travels. Just- I know I know his address. His address is thirty two eighty five. Or even better, a really unhinged Taylor Lautner impersonator. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would be nice. awesome. He just walks in with no shirt on. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hey, you know what time it is? Oh, it's question, question corners, corners, question corners, question corners, question corners, corners, corners with, with Lily. The questions are fresh on her mind. Um, okay, so I have, I don't know if I've asked this question before, and I keep trying to go back and look. Um, so I'll ask it again. And if you guys, if you, I did already ask Better it, be good. Be a different one. This is your time. We've dialogued about it a little bit already. <laughs> so maybe we've already talked about it. I don't know. Which region would you rather be limited to travel to? Do I ask this question too many times? No, I don't think so. I don't, yeah. South and Central America or Asia? You're limited. You can't you can't go you have to go either to South and Central America for the rest of your life to travel or Asia. Asia. Any all of Asia? All of Asia or all of A- South and Central America. Asia for sure, I think. Like half yeah. the globe. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, what are you, you talking know, about? It's like you're India, talking about India, China, Japan, China. Japan. Like you're talking about everywhere. That's, an, that's technically insane. Indonesia Russia is part of Mongolia. Asia. So Asia. I'm picking South and Central America. <laughs> that, it's tempting, <laughs> but I I don't know anything about South America. That's probably my problem. I love that, Latin American food. That's my so like because Mexico's on there. I was like I. I would. That's really tempting. That alone, the food alone, makes me want to go there. Can we lump in like, the Caribbean? No. Why? Because it's not South and Central America. It's next to it. Well, Europe's next to Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Just like switch the question. Limited to travel in the Southern Hemisphere or Northern? Oh, mm. Northern. Would you rather do the islands or Europe? Europe. Really? Yeah. All Europe. day. Okay. All day. All day. <laughs> not me. Really? I'd take islands anywhere over. Wow. <laughs> What's a place that you have wow. no desire of going to? Russia. Russia. Really? London. I've heard it's really pretty London? though, isn't it? <laughs> Why? I have no desire to go to Europe. Do you guys remember um <laughs> hold on the comment on last week they were like, Oh, everybody's defending Lily, but everybody on this podcast is actually mean to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Everyone gets their fair share of picking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, no I, I don't desire to go to Europe because I'm allergic to milk and most of the food I can't even eat. True. So like everyone, like and my wife, white went, man. Yeah. Italy literally <laughs> would kill Andrew. My <laughs> wife went to Paris and she was like, we should go. Yeah. You couldn't eat much. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I want to, literally. but I have heard that like allergies that we experience in the U S we don't experience in, in Europe. Because it's different. I was <laughs> that is a generalization, though. Like bread. Let's try yeah. it. Let's like, let's fly to Italy. <laughs> let's feed Andrew a big plate of mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella. <laughs> Five seconds later, Andrew's like, dead. Andrew's dead, guys. This is <laughs> well, bad. that didn't work. It turned out so bad. <laughs> um, Dad, I need to come home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I love the UK and Ireland. Me too. So yeah, Europe would be. 
I would like to go to Europe over the island. But our next um, overseas trip, we're really trying to do, what was it, Scotland? Scotland. Scotland. Edinburgh. Yes. Let's try it. That's our goal. That's our goal, baby. Let's go to Scotland. Scotland. We also were invited by Billy Fife, who I met in um, Ireland, and I knew him before that. Good but guy. He invited us to uh, the Belfast area. We just, just got to get there. Northern Ireland. And, and he says he lives like right down the road from where St. Patrick is buried. Well, he's invited us to that youth conference. We just got to make it happen. Yeah. That'd be it. so fun. We got all these new points. Yeah. Be perfect. With the Chase Sapphire card. Yes. Um, sponsor us. Please. Um, Jake, we sponsored we by Chase Bank. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. That'd be amazing. Did you, did you ever tell the story about how I, I had no idea what was going on politically in Ireland I, when we got there? Did I talk about we that? Have, we here? haven't talked about, like especially like the taxi driver and stuff. Like We haven't yeah. really talked about that a ton. You guys just like got a lot of... Well, have you talked about like the guy talking about your hair? <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> I think we, we mentioned did, that. We did, didn't we? I don't know. I don't we think had I'll, to well, I'll, 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 I'll say it again. <laughs> so but we're in um, Southern Ireland. No, we flew into Belfast. No, but where this happened, the the hair thing. Okay, yeah. Let me tell my story. <laughs> All right, hey, Lily, fine, take fine. it easy. I thought we were gonna start. <laughs> no, with I'm, our just talk, I'm talking about the hair guy. Fine. Yeah, but we're um, on our way from Letterfrack to back to Dublin to get on a flight, and I stopped at a gas station. And I'm standing in line, and this old man behind me yanks my hair like that. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I turn around. I turn around. He's like, "Hey, chef, hi, top team, top team." I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Your hair. It looks like a girl's." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, it's um, it's something." You said it keeps me warm. Oh yeah, it keeps me warm. He's like, "Ha, keeps you warm." <laughs> That's so good. That's the best interaction you yeah. could possibly have. It was over there. so great. It was at a, a petrol station. A petrol station, mm -hmm. but yeah, in Northern Ireland. It, you, it's a it's kind of an either or who you get in like Belfast if they're pro uh, the United Kingdom or very anti United it's Kingdom. It's a sensitive topic for some people. For and, yeah, and it's hardcore. We were in an Uber going to the Titanic Museum. Yes, which That's everyone so we're funny. like, what should we do? And they're like, oh, you got to go to the Titanic Museum. <laughs> wasn't that good honestly <laughs> why would it be um, but everyone was suggesting it yeah. so funny. well we also went on a sunday which I, they're very old-fashioned everything was closed on sunday afternoon oh they open at one yeah so everyone goes to church nice um but yeah the uber driver um <laughs> uber java uber ja i've never been to uber java <laughs> i've never been to uber java <laughs> you remember that vine yeah <laughs> <laughs> have you ever taken an uber driver i've never been to uber java <laughs> But we're on our way, and Lily's like, we absolutely love, like, we love coming to the UK, or, like, we love the, what did you say? Uh, we're honeymooning in the UK. We just love being in the UK or something like that. And he's like, <laughs> sounds like so, first of all, that sounds so pronounced Trump. <laughs> <laughs> we love visiting the UK, love the UK, love being in the UK. I was, do I did it 37 times, and Josh was like, shut up. They already know we're tourists. <laughs> yeah. So what did he say? He said... He's like, because he was being all nice and friendly yeah. and just his face changed. And he's like, this is not the UK. This is Ireland. And one day we will become one Ireland again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he was like, you better be careful. You say that too. Like he said yeah. that to him. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize. But he was mad. Yeah. And then <laughs> we stopped <laughs> and the wind was blowing so hard and Lily opened the door and the door flew <laughs> open and hit another car. Oh, no! <laughs> and then we're and we, like, we scurried out. Go, Lily, go. <laughs> I'm like, we're out of here. <laughs> we scurried. Oh, yeah. man. Gotta but love the UK. Gotta love it. Fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. You, that's all you ate, right? I wanted to find <laughs> the best fish and chips. <laughs> so you in ate the UK. nothing but fish and chips your whole vacation. Pretty yeah, much. Basically. Yeah. That's amazing. But Billy Fife took us to this one spot oh that gosh. we would have never found. Never would have found it. Literally the best fish and chips in Do you know on the, name the of planet. It? Nope. Really? I'll ask Billy Fife. Yeah. You know, Billy Fife, comment in the comments and we, we know you watch. They yeah. do something different where they do um they put uh, they served it with brown gravy. Yeah. Which was so good. Yeah, That's smart mm. with cheese curds That's in like it. Gravy on anything sounds yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. if you go, you need to go surfing in Belfast. I watch a ton of surf videos from Ireland. That yeah. water looks cold, Dude. cold and terrifying. And it's so way, dark. It, it is dark. The way it works, it's a slab, so it goes from really deep water to like inches, and that's why they break and barrel. Oh, I'm not that good a surfer. I don't want to come <laughs> close to that wave. I can teach you. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Speaking of petrol, I saw a video. Did you see that guy of uh, pouring gas 
uh, water in a gas can on top of people's cars as a prank. No. Terrible prank. That this guy's going prank. around with a big old red gas can oh, and pouring no. on people's car. And one girl freaks out and everything. The next one, he goes up to like a big old jacked up F-250. Oh, no. And I'm like, first of all, that's a that's a red flag, buddy. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to be messing with that with those people. And so he takes it, dumps it all on top of the truck hood. And no joke, this old man <laughs> in Wranglers walks around. Oh, no. Pulls out a gun. No! Dude. And then like just, and then realizes it was just water. But it's like this dude, like, yeah, like you have to imagine this. Yep. You're, dude. you walk to your car and some died trying to blow up your vehicle. What yeah. Of course he pulls a gun. And he's like, it's a joke. It's a, I'm like, <laughs> I'm joking. It's yeah. A prank, Take bro. a joke, guy. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, Mr. Overreact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what about that? Wasn't there a TikTok guy that got shot because of a prank? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Um, yeah, it was I can't in remember mall. his name. Yeah, so yeah. scary. Are you I guys? Think, he's okay though. But yeah. are you seeing this TikTok trend where they talk about like green fra- flags, red flags, and beige, beige flags? I've seen the beige flags is really big right now. I, I haven't seen that. I saw one last night. I was <laughs> cackling when I was. But it's up. like it's not quite a red flag, but it's something that like kind of maybe irritates them or just is really weird. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's permissible. Like yeah. Yeah. Permissible. But it's it's worth mentioning though. It it reminded me of you, Josh, <laughs> and it says my husband's beige flag is that he will be snoring so loud, and I wake him up. He looks me square in the face and says, I'm not even asleep, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and catches the wildest attitude with me. <laughs> and so I feel funny. like every everybody at my dad used to do that too. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> it's like, you are. You're snoring. <laughs> Um, I've had those moments where it's like you're literally slipping yeah. and you make a noise and that's what wakes you up. Yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Isn't it true that they put you guys together at conferences because yeah. you both snore so loud? Yep. What? Really? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. That. <laughs> so I'm where just finding out. <laughs> wow. So, okay. You really, yeah. wow. you really didn't know that? No, so I don't funny. think so. Um, I have a beige flag that Kelsey probably has for you. Oh, no. Maybe it's a red flag. I don't what know. What is it? I would say it's a beige flag. Oh, okay. Um, about that time when we went to Montana. Oh gosh, why did you, you you're just forcing it into this conversation? I know. You, wrote, you I wrote that the, down and you're like, I'm just gonna work it in the conversation. I love the story so much. Um and we are oh we're goodness. at the Glacier Bible Camp. Glacier Bible Camp in uh Hungry Horse, Montana. Yep. And um That doesn't sound We're real sitting at all. with like a bunch of people that run the camp and stuff, and Andy's introducing <laughs> everyone. <laughs> and he's like like, I forgot. Oh, that's this is Josh. Uh, <laughs> this is his wife Lily. Um, that's Steve. That's his wife Heather. And he's like, I'm Andy, and, um, <laughs> and his mom lives in Montana, and she came to visit. And he looks at his mom and goes, and this is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> On accident. <laughs> About his mom. Were you like away? Yeah, away, he was like dude. 30 feet You're away. Like 30 feet away and you just overheard me. Because <laughs> I, I was like, hey, that's of them over there. And then I said, this is my wife. And then <laughs> this is my wife. You, you really just did not let like it go. Everyone the looked at night. me because I was crying laughing. <laughs> yeah, I think you had to walk away at one point. <laughs> oh, oh my so goodness. It's so good. So yeah, that's your beige flag. Yeah. I'm, I'm just glad it's not the other way around where I'm introducing Kelsey. Like, this is my mom. <laughs> yeah. That would be not, not cool. Oh, that's, a, that's a fun story. I'm really glad you brought it up. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Funny. Yeah. Can I talk about something scary real quick? Mm-hmm. Please. I need some um, scary in my life. This podcast is w- today when this is out will be June third, June second, second, mm-hmm. which is today when this. Yeah, podcast of course, is yeah, because we 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 record this live same day. But same these day. notes that I wrote obtained to Pertain. last protein obtains contain contains last week um, about. These this uh these new ar- news articles coming out to where the Senate is or was issued satellite phones, so all the people oh. in Senate were sen- Senate. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds sen- like sen- yeah. The yeah. Senate were sent it. The the this. Senate were sent satellite phones <laughs> while sitting, and it was in, and it because or said in preparation of a disruptive event, oh, man made no. or natural disaster. No. Why? But get this. What's coming? I'm fine with being scary. Just don't be vague. It's insulting. Well, get yeah. this. 
Did you guys hear about, this is connecting to what this is. Did you hear about that train that went missing? It was like up north or something. And this train that went missing. In America? Yeah. Missing. Contained 60,000 pounds of explosives. Ah, uh, no! And they're not, they're not like really specifying. I think they said it was like, a, uh, uh, it starts with an A, am- ammonia nitrate. Or whatever. Sounds deadly. Which it can make a really, really big explosion. So people are speculating it's we're about to get a EMP attack. What is that? The electric or is it yeah, EMP, that's what it's called. That's when it yeah. like disrupts your cars, it makes your car stop. Electric it's magnetic a, pulses. Pulse. I got it. Hey. Hey. Um I did it. I did it. But, Hooray. But the same <laughs> week, this is weird. The FDA released a commercial. That was basically warning people of fake news. Oh, no. And the whole fake news was like someone tweeting like, like, heads up, everyone. The internet's about to, we're about to have a blackout of the internet. So specific. Be prepared. And then the FDA is like, and it showed it like going viral and like people are getting scared. And like, don't be persuaded by fake news. And it says, use our website to mm. like have all the real news or yeah. something like that yeah or That's to suspicious. stay aware of uh, misinformation what is the food and drug administration doing to That's what I was that? wondering but it was by the FDA cuz like someone said that I'm like the FDA yeah so I looked it up and the FDA released that commercial That's strange It's on YouTube you can yeah. look it up YouTube shorts that's where I saw it Where people, people say broccoli is good for you and fake listen, news hey fake news <laughs> it came out by the FDA um hey that's where the pirates are going to come out. No pirates. What pirates? What are you talking about? Okay, here's it. Here's like, oh, you talking about <laughs> every now and then the uh, we have we have um dinner at Lily's uh parents' house every Monday, and just like every now and then we talk about like worst case scenario, like we lose communication with everyone. Yeah. Like what what are our moves? What are we going to do? Just yeah. kind of like joking around or whatever. Or we're staying put and they're coming yeah. to us. And then Lily's like. Mom, Dad, you got to be careful of the pirates. You can't take 441 because there's going to be pirates. I said, Lily, why <laughs> you keep, I'm like, why do you keep calling them pirates? <laughs> and she's like, because they're coming. They're like, that's what they do. The, the pirates, so they come take your stuff. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that just pirates are, are uh, limited limited to water. Yeah. She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> she looked it up and. They are limited to water. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess water I should say ships. like raiders or looters or something. Yeah. That's so funny. But I always think pirates. The pirates are coming. <laughs> Lily, we're landlocked. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you know that's why we don't? Um, pirates are the reason why we don't uh, use the metric system as our main um, use of uh, met, uh, what is it? Measuring. Measuring mm-hmm. is because they um, that all the information was on a boat, and no joke, it got taken over by pirates, what? and so it came later, obviously, but after we had already established our own measurements. Yeah. And so like, uh, and Wait starting our own system. Here. Yeah. So a boat had to tell us the math that we already knew. Yeah. I mean, cause they, they like the, um, Europe came up with a oh. one measuring system yeah. that would be like, everyone's going to use this measuring system from so now on. So we didn't it, know it. We did time. Yeah. Cause okay. it was, it was, on, it was its way. on its own. It's a, it's <laughs> <laughs> we were it just was, using it was like, on its way and it was pirated act by actual pirates and so oh my yeah. gosh um, yeah that's why we don't use it as our main source obviously we use it for other things but yeah that's so interesting so it's like back before then we were like this is about two lengths of this rope yeah you're about seven bananas tall <laughs> <laughs> seven bananas tall <laughs> dude speaking of numbers have you guys seen why numbers are shaped the way they are Oh yeah, I saw with the with the with angles, angles, dude. That came through I, my TikTok super weird right now, but that came through and it blew my mind. Explain it. Yeah, let me show you real quick. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do like uh, seven. Okay. Seven. Well, that might no, be no. It's a one. yeah. The sevens. I can oh, pull it. Work? I can pull it up. It's it's because that's why there are the lines. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because they used to write the numbers differently, so like the four would be like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Nope, it's connected. Oh, the top. The triangle. Oh, the four. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> We're doing really good. <laughs> Farts. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then there's one angle, two angle, three angle, four angles. Got it. And so you can do that with each number and zero, no angles. Oh, so zero. zero. Absent. Zero. Wow. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So it equals that many angles on the actual number? Forever. Wow. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. show that picture. That's that smart. That's cool. Yeah. Great That's shot. pretty dope. Um, Did you also see that comment where they said um, 
on one of your goofy videos, they said, um, wow, I come here for real factual information, not for goofy stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the wrong place. <laughs> like I, they, they said, like, I'm, I started following you from the shorts to come for factual things. Didn't realize you guys were making goofy stuff. Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. It's like, have you not watched the movie? You're probably would, better off. <laughs> I would never. Like, number, the metric system was taken by pirates and uh. numbers have angles. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Uh, Science. <laughs> guys, look at, we have this. Hey, we got Aww. some fan mail. It says, please open on podcast. Gorgeous artwork. Yes. It's from Kaylin. Is that you say? Kaylin Schneider. <laughs> Schneider. Uh, Kaylin Schneider. Hey, we're always open to fan mail, guys. If you want to send letters, fan art, anything like that, 510 East Alfred, Tavares, Whoa. Florida. We got some art. Nice. Yeah. Here, you read that. Dear Josh and Andy, Lily and Andrew, I discovered your podcast a couple months ago and have listened to every episode. I love to listen when I'm painting, sewing, or just tidying up around the house. I also love your comedy content. Regarding the fan art, I made a disclaimer. It is not my best work, and I normally do not draw guys. Come on. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, especially ones with luscious beards. Thank you. Um, but I hope you she like it anyways. You, Bye. Just me. So thank you. <laughs> So thank you. Hey, Kalen. <laughs> Just rip it right there. <laughs> How awesome. dare you, Kalen? Um, sorry, Andy, that I didn't draw you. <laughs> I tried it. It was the most horrifying thing I've ever drawn. <laughs> Why would you send that? <laughs> thank you, Kalen. Yes. Kalen. <laughs> Kalen, I, what I want, here's, look at, I'm going to look in the camera. Kalen, I'm no, talking you gotta to you. got to move the mic. Move the mic so she can, like, get a good. Kalen, I'm talking to you. Everyone else, you can tune out. Kaylin, I want you to stop everything you're doing, sewing, tidying up the house. I want you to run to the post office with that picture, and I want you to overnight it. And if you can't, drive here and drop it off, okay? Because I deserve that picture. I don't care how horrifying it is. Watch it be an exact like I'm the one. <laughs> it's literally just me. <laughs> it's like photorealistic. <laughs> you just print off a picture. Oh, all right. That's it. Very good. That's Very what, good. That's, we're going to end with that. But we do have one announcement. Yes, we do. June 10th. June 10th, baby. Tell listen, them all about it, Andy. We, listen, um, we wish we would have told you guys last episode so you guys can plan. But listen, if you have our... Uh, in Tampa, you're in Florida, or you just want to fly in, guess what? We're doing a live podcast June 10th at... Tam can you look up the actual um, church name? You know the name. It's Calvary Church Clearwater. Yes. So please... Head there, June 10th. It's not our live podcast. It's the Bible is Funny yes. live podcast. Anthony that Russo. We're on. Yes, Anthony Anthony's going to be inviting us, and we're going to be doing a live podcast with him. Uh, Lily's going to be there. Andrew's going to be there. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun. He's promoting it. It's the big drop for his game. Yeah, but we've never done a live podcast. Yeah. And it's going to be- I'm a little nervous. We're going to have a big crowd. It's going to be great. It's going to be super, Lily, super you fun. you said you were going to go up there too, right? No way. Please. Please. What? 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 Why not? I'm not. You're Why? part of the crew. No, 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 no. Anthony's no there. Part of the crew, part That's of the true. ship. That's Andy's true. We, we can't. Yeah. You're a pirate. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But yes, June 10th, please come. Um, our uh, All the details will be on our Instagram story. DM us if you have any questions. Or we'll put a thing in the description yes, on you YouTube. Because you can pre-order your seat. It's free to go. It's awesome. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have swag there. It's going to be great. Swag, baby. Stuff we all get. Guys, make sure to give us five stars on everything. Write yes. a review. Funny review. Or not funny. Just say hey, you like the show. Um, on Spotify, Apple. The bigger we get, guys, YouTube. the more people that find out about this podcast, the more stuff we can do. Yeah. Maybe we can start going on tour and do live podcasts. Yeah. Everywhere, Lily. Coming to a city near you. Oh, man. That'd be so much fun. Um, There's something else. I forget. Ninjas are butterflies and that's okay. I said ninjas are. Butterflies. Love you. Bye, Lily. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! beautiful creations. Has an empty your mind? You were martial arts. Ha! Ninjas attack! I said ninjas are butterflies today. Let's go outside and play. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.